a chi-square test on a frequency distribution in SPSS. If we want to test a frequency distribution against a known or hypothesized population distribution, we must use a one-sample chi-square test. I've opened the household's example data, which contains a variable region of residence of the household. It contains four categories, east, north, south and west. Remember the order. Now imagine that we know the distribution of the population over those four regions. For example, because we have data from a National Bureau of Statistics. Then we can test whether our sample reflects the distribution in the population. We can find the chi-square test under non-parametric tests. I recommend to use the legacy dialogues and there it is, chi-square test. In the chi-square test, we must, of course, select the test variable, which is region, so I copy it to the test variable list. And then we have to specify our null hypothesis. If we would hypothesize that the population is equally distributed over all four regions, then we can just leave the expected values option at all categories equal. However, if the categories are not hypothesized to be equal, we have to specify values for each category. Say, for example, that the East, the first category, contains 20% of the population, the North contains 35% of the population, the South contains 30% of the population, and the West contains the remaining 50% of the population. Now we have told SPSS our null hypothesis and we can execute the test. We can do an exact test, there's another video explaining that. There are some options, but the statistics here, descriptives, are really not interesting. So let's just paste this command and run it. Here is the output. What we get first is a frequency distribution of four regions with the number of households that we've observed in our sample of 120. And then we get the expected numbers. We expected 20% of the households to be in the east. 20% of 120 will give us 24. So the expected number of households in our sample is 24. That's three less than we've actually observed. So here in the residuals, you see how well our hypothesis fits the sample. Now the test statistic is summarized here. The chi-square value is 3.4 with three degrees of freedom and the p-value of 0.33. So we do not reject the null hypothesis. So it may well be that our sample was drawn from a population with the proportions as we have specified in our hypothesis. Now note, we do not reject the null hypothesis, which means in this example that our sample could be representative of the population. That concludes the chi-square test.